Right, so today I am doing some re-amping for my band and basically what that means is I recorded the guitar parts at an earlier date but I didn't record them through the amplifier, I recorded them straight into my computer, DI and uh, now I am getting my amplification tones and trying to get a nice sound so the way I've done that in the past is just putting it straight out and I've been getting a lot of interference and I've bought goodness knows loads of different contraptions on how to try and remove the noise but long story short there's an actual box that does this for you and it's a box specific for this it's called a reamplification box surprisingly enough and I've bought the Palmer one and it's called the Decapo reamplification box and here it is and this is what I've been using so I'm just going to give you a quick this is by no means a review but I'm going to quickly show you how I'm setting it up with not too many technical details but just so you can see how I'm working it out so I am using Cubase and let me quickly show you so this is my project and as you can see I've got a few guitar files at the end here that I'm going to re-amplify and I've got my output here which is TRS unfortunately I didn't have an XLR so the reamplification box takes XLR so I've had to buy a special cable that was TRS to XLR as you can see here so that's the XLR input there and the TRS coming out so I've got lots of different output settings here so this one here of this is my sound card by the way so mix one two and three these are essentially how I can assign them inside my software and these are the physical outputs so I've got output two um, assigned to outputs two as well um, and you'll see in my let me find it uh, can you see it here reamp so that is my mono output assigned to that particular channel and what I've done uh, if I can show you, it saved me having to screen capture. Um, and maybe it's easier for me to show you here. Um, what I've actually done here is duplicated. So I've got the actual track DI, and then I've created a new track SM58. It's actually an SM57 for this one. I forgot to rename it. Um, and as you can see, I'm doing the same for each one. So I've got a few more to go. Um, so I've soloed the two tracks only. Um, so I can see what's going on and just to note I did nearly deafen myself so you have to be very careful turning the amps on and off in between tracks because uh, yeah your ears are everything when you're doing music uh, should be such an easy thing to do but actually it's uh, quite tricky it's a fine balance right so let me just quickly show you this box a little bit in more detail so in actual fact, I was very close to getting um, a radial um, reamplification box instead because um, radial do some really good DIs um, and they've got a whole range of reamplification boxes. However, they range from 100 to 200 plus, which for me in my home studio was a little bit too pricey. Now this one was about 60, 70 quid, uh, which is still quite a lot, but um, you know if it gets the job done and the reason I selected this over the radio as well is because the entry level radio which is a hundred quid doesn't have a volume control and this one does and that's quite crucial because um, whatever signal is being sent into this box it might be a little bit too hot and you want to just sometimes tone it down and fine tune it without having to you know adjust settings everywhere as it is you've got the um, channel volume then you've got the master volume for the output and then you've got the volume in the reamplification box and then you've got the volume in the amp and trying to get the right balance so the guitar actually sounds good is as i said a little bit tricky so what i like about this box is you've got the balanced unbalanced switch here you've got uh, ground lift which i can actually notice a difference um, you do get a little bit more hum if i push that in you've got this volume control here which I say volume control, it's just a little twister, um, it could have been better but really it's something you're going to set once and then kind of leave it for the rest of your session and then of course your output and then obviously in the amp, I'm just going straight in, nothing fancy there 
and as you can see I'm using an SM57 for this job. So you can get a demonstration of what this sounds like. So there we go, that's me re-amplifying my guitars today and why not do it on a bank holiday weekend. Um, it's been lovely weather and then all of a sudden the weather's just kind of taken a turn for the worst and dropped down from, it was 23 degrees, it's gone all the way down to about 9 degrees so uh, I'm definitely staying in today and enjoying doing this. More fun, more equipment to try out and play with and uh, ultimately the purpose is to get some good tones right so uh, stay tuned. <laughs>